What is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape any website using make.com. Let's get started. Now, to get started, we're going to click right here and then click on HTTP. On HTTP, I'm going to click on make a request. Here you can add the URL of the website that you like to scrape. We can rename this module to something like uh, get websites then click on okay to scrape a website we'll need a website first the one let us try and scrape this website i'm going to click on the make request module and then here i'll copy the link of this website and paste it right here the method that we're going to use we're going to use get as our method for now we don't need to add headers query strings or body type but I'm going to choose to leave it as empty and then leave everything as is and click on OK. So we will be scraping all the data of this page. When I click on OK and run this module, you will see that our input was scraping this URL right here and our output is going to give us this long string of everything about the page. On this long string, this is an amalgamation of CSS, JavaScript, HTML, and the text and images used on this page right here. So if you wanted to get this heading, just copy it. And here, and we try to find our heading, you'll see our heading right here. So it is just an amalgamation of everything that is used to build this page right here. Now, if you wanted to perform an action using this data, this is too long of a string to use. So like you can see right here, the file size is 387,292. To use this, it will cost us a lot of operations on make, which will be very expensive. In order to leave behind the CSS, the HTML, and the JavaScript used on this page, and only have the text and the images, which will be much less of a size, we can use a text parser where we're going to use the HTML to text transformer. Here, we're going to add our data from our make request module and then click on OK. So now when we run this module and then ignore warnings and say run anyway. Previously, we had this long HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and the text string, but now, all that has been reduced to only the text and the images links. So you can see right here that we do not have too much of a long string like we did previously. We have zero HTML, zero CSS, zero JavaScript. We have only the text used on our page and, uh, and then the related articles links. You will get them down below right here. This is much better than what we had previously right here. This is way too long and way too complicated. But now after we converted our HTML to text using our text parser, we're having only the text right here. So if we wanted to perform a certain activity, we can perform an activity just by using the text right here. That is the simplest way that you can scrape a web page and use a HTML to text transformer to only get the text only using the text parser module. You can decide how you want to proceed from here. For example, you can choose to use this data right here and use this data to customize an email and send it as maybe let's say an email outreach campaign to a prospect. Here you can add OpenAI module and create a completion. After you've added your model and customized what you'd like OpenAI to perform, using this long text string. You can also add another module right here. Let's say you want to add rows on Google Sheet. On Google Sheet, you can decide to have a couple of rows. For example, if you're scraping multiple websites, you can have one row constituting the website URLs of the website that, of the website that you're scraping. Another row could be about the website, and the other row could be, like, could be the first open align of the email that you're trying to write to the prospect who owns the website. And here, 
Now we can send an email. This is how you can scrape any website using make.com. You can make a request right here and then add the URL of the website that you're trying to scrape. After scraping your website, you will get this very long string of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, text, image that is used on the page. Now, in order to extract only the valuable information that you're going to need, which in this case is text, we are going to use this transformer right here. It transforms HTML to only text. And you are only going to get the text that is on the web page that you that you were scraping previously. Now, if you have the text of the web page, you can use AI and ask AI to describe briefly about the page. Now, since it's going to understand the text, it's much more simpler for AI to tell you more about the website in only a few lines. Now, you can choose to use those few lines to create an opening line on, of an email in your outreach campaign after you've written your opener line using AI. Now you can decide to add a row of that information on Google Sheet. So on Google Sheet, you can have one row for the website URL, the other row for about the website, and the other row for the opening line of the email. And then now the last module could be you writing a personalized email using the opening line that you scraped using AI. And now you can send the email outreach campaign to this prospect. So that's the simplest way that you can scrape any website using make.com. If you have any questions, ideas, or concepts of videos that you'd like to see in the future, comment them down below in the comments. I read all the comments. And if your idea, concept, or question makes sense, I will make a video on that exact same topic, a future video. But for now, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.